Hello. Happy podcast hair day. Hang on a second. I meant to do this a second ago. Got to get this lighting right. I also got to move this chat. I got to move this chat window. Um, out of the window because people who watch the video recording afterwards can't see it. So I'm going to work on that in just a minute. Um, actually, can I do that now? I think we'll put it right there for now. See if that works. All right, we'll see. Oh, good afternoon. Good morning. What time is it? 11.20 here. Um, I'm discombobulated, coming in hot from the podcast into this. You know, usually I got to work my way into the stream. Uh, you know, feel like I have some topics, feel like I got some things to talk about, things like that. I'm coming in with podcast. I'm coming in with headphone hair, like straight up. Uh, Evan Max, 25 months of sub, and even though you were on the replay, let's go. You were on the replay mod, the the replay vod. I need to embiggen this chat text too. I think. I gotta figure out how to do that chat box. Let me see if I can embiggen this. Now it's bugging me. Hang on a second, and I'll get to the. Uh, I'll get to the. Comments, font settings, font size twenty two. Is that a little bit bigger? I think that's a little bit bigger. We'll have to see if we need a, a background as well. Brooke just went live on IG. Pull him up. Go watch him. All right. Woo. So this is what we got to figure out. People who missed the podcast, we don't have to talk about the podcast. It was just kind of a good timing. I'm sitting here at the desk. I just moved all my podcasting microphone uh, out of the way. Um, got in here, fixed my hair, got some more coffee, more coffee. Fabio Grillo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So let's see. So yeah, like people miss the podcast. Like, should we talk about the podcast or should we not talk about the podcast? That's the thing. Even though we're doing it after, we don't have to talk about that. We can talk about other stuff. I was on a meeting about how to secure our software supply chain. That sounds awesome. Walking, walking the dog. Is it Thursday already? That's actually pretty funny. Hello, Tessa. I'm just checking. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Kimmy. Kimmy hadn't seen you in a while. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Talane, who's following? We got some new follows. Pigna, Carlo Andrea, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Checking the, checking. I wish IG would play nicer with OBS. Oh, we got some Spaminators. Woo! All right. So I guess when we, uh, when we, uh, when we're in a more popular time frame, we get more spam. So let me whack these real quick. Banned, banned, so much ban hammer. I got it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Ban hammer. Ban hammer. We need a ban hammer emote. Did I get them all? Yeah, happy to happy to share this uh, spam experience with y'all. We got them. Usually, when those type of uh, when I get a bunch of follows like that, real quick, um, I usually don't thank them. But I was kind of distracted, um, and then the spam started happening. So there you go. Oh, is that the bonk emote? I like that. Mm. So yeah, what the idea is here. Sorry, that's going to bug me. You want to get banned? We can make it happen. God, it's a little bright. It's bugging me. I just, just bugged me. So when the sun, sun is hammering in here, <clears throat> you walked away and things exploded? Yeah, we had to bust out the band hammers. Bust them out. Oh, my gosh. Mike's already posted the podcast, so y'all can... Uh, 
y'all can go go check it out it's not too bright on stream good yeah it, i think it's fine it's just it's just bugging me and this is the new setup there's a little more light coming in over here which i could adjust i'm not going to worry about that today so we're good so you listen to it instead of being here i'm fine no you listen to the podcast just leave this running go do whatever you want claire as long as this is running and logged in give me the view <laughs> Yeah, y'all can go watch Brooks. Y'all can go listen to the podcast. Just keep this running as long as I'm on in the background. That's all we care about. Post show question, go. Tandy Crimson. I love that emote. Poop, Danu. <laughs> That's the raise the hand to go poop. That's not the raise the hand to go question. That's pretty funny. Login on five devices. It was a good podcast. Thank you. Last segment of the podcast was Ace, so that was Re Wizzle's idea. Um, I wasn't sure if I could pull that off. Um, I think it worked out pretty well. I was pretty happy with it, so hopefully y'all liked it. Um, not everyone will get it because you know not everyone's on the same you know pop culture things. So yeah, it was it was fun to do. Once I once I had Jamie's pin, I was like, I had Jamie and Ted first. Like I said, Mike, I got two of them first. I had Jamie and Ted in the beginning. I was like, okay, I think I can do this. Because I was going to have to figure out if I wasn't going to do that, what else I was going to do. And I I couldn't think of anything else. So I just stayed I just stayed on it and kind of, I don't know, it took me about 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to just come up, figure out, like think about it. Off to the dentist. I am on Twitch tomorrow, 10 a.m. You haven't watched Ted Yelp Lasso yet? Yeah. It was, uh, if you ever do, it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> but yeah, we are on tomorrow for sure. All right, so my desk is still scattered here. Called it the new Canalea pen, pen was blue. Yeah, they've been releasing, sometimes they're a little bit sneaky with the pictures, but there was a lot of blue and black in the pictures. Um, I'll show you all the pen in just a second. I'm still making space here. desk is a little combobulated so yeah that was the like that was those are the pictures you're seeing on the thing one dog night 19 months of seven let's go did you get your retro 51 yesterday we talked about that on the show today too mike and i both agreed that they did a good job with kind of setting a marker in the business yes i'm going to show you uh i'm going to show you um Vlad, just a second. Nope, you pass. It's like I get that. Yeah, like it's good, but like, like that's not something I would like jump out and buy myself. But I felt like the uh, idea of it made a lot of sense for what they were trying to do. So that that was cool. Humidity in Illinois is claim my office coffee mate. Well, your problem isn't humidity. Your problem is coffee mate. Sorry, Galantium. <laughs> I had to do it. I had, I had to do it. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> um okay uh canalea let me see do we have proper lighting propers lighting just wonder if i need a white background here all right let's just uh yeah i it, you were noticeably missed yesterday sarah at least by me so hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling okay. Sorry, I'm just I haven't uh, uh, checked in on on the rest of the world right now. So I'm looking at my Twitter real quick. Yeah, like I literally like after about ten minutes, I was like, oh, Sarah's not here today. It's like one big happy family in here. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Pin. I'm doing pin. Okay. I did unbox the new retro popper and I gave it away, so I don't even have it here to, to show. I am caught up on giveaway shipments for this stream. Okay. So yesterday I got all the giveaway stuff caught up because I was like over a week behind. So I got that done. All right, let's see what we got here. 
dun 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 Alright, so this is the new Canalea. It is really, really crazy. Uh, the material, the translucency, the cap band, the size. So let's see, that's what is mine called? I always got to remember. Yeah, this is a great googly moogly one. So this is the classic. So this is the classic with a clip, which is my first one with the clip. I really like that clip. The bling ring. I like that. Not sure I like the cap band. So that's the thing is you can get it without the cap band. You can get this in the traditional Canalea style, right? So you can just get the full blue uh, pen. Wish this would focus a little bit better. I'm trying to show y'all some of the translucency. Um, it's really, really clear. It's chunky, so their classic, their classic pen is a big, is a big chonker of a pen. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna get, um, shoot. Um, where's my retro? The only thing I have here, which is pretty unfair, that's a Caran Dash 849. For some reason, I was using my retro and I moved it off my desk. So that's the the 849 in comparison. That's the only thing I have in with me. M800 size, yeah, I'd say that. So, so mine. This is the first one I have with the clip which I really like. It's like, this is a stout clip. This clip is no joke. So when you get the clip, you don't get the, uh, the disc on the top, the hibiscus on the top. So there you can see the material a little bit better. This is one I will probably eyedropper. I never eyedropper them at first, like my first go. Wait, why did the, why did the chat thing change? I got to change it on each panel. All right, hang on. Someone say something. Oh, I guess I can say something. Y'all type a bunch of stuff here so I can move it. Something. That's what I need to see. I didn't realize I have to change this on each screen I'm on. So the new chat window doesn't work with the window in the background. Thank y'all for taking me literally. That this is this is this is helpful. Thank you. So yeah, there you go. What I want to do is get this one com ooh, get this one compared with the uh, although this may not work for the show and tell screen i might have to aim it i might have to put it back where it was it might just be in the way here i think it takes up more screen i think we'll put it back oh wrong thing i don't know what i just moved i'd go for the medallion yeah i wanted something different um this time even though I, I didn't ask specifically for it they just sent it i was saying like the next one i wanted to try the clip just because i don't have one i have all the medallion ones and it does like the material when i get a little bit closer this is a really beachy black sand i mean look at that section there it just looks like a like an island like an outcropping the one with the band seems very pricey for a steel nib yeah the band is very pricey right so the band is a lot of extra money for the steel nib but it's a thick heavy band like that's the band the, your, the band is like a ring right this is not just like a overlay like it's a serious business piece of hardware it's sterling it's uh no it's i don't know what the word is Ar argentium silver i don't even know what that means what does argentium silver mean i didn't look it up is it like an alloy type of thing i don't even know yeah it's chunky yes they these are loner pins and then 
It's a type of silver that it's more resistant to tarnish. Gotcha. But yeah, like it's it's serious. It's a serious piece of hardware. So let me get the scale out. Because it's heavy. And it's not heavy, but like it's noticeable. For someone who uses a lot of Kenalea pens, like it's a different feel. Jay Abbott just said Argentinium was overrated. What I mean, what's against what? What's it overrated against? Like I don't even know what these words mean. <laughs> I missed if you're gonna keep the pen to be determined. I didn't say because I don't know. Because it's expensive. Like the only thing holding me back is, is it, it's, it's expensive. Like I love the pen. So I'm gonna play with it for a couple days and then decide. I'm leaning towards yes. I don't know what setting that is. I just want to weigh the uh, cap. So that's 21 grams just on the cap. I have an, I have a gold nib. Are these 14 or 18 K? Does that say 18? Does it post? It does, technically, yes. So there's a taper here, right? You can see the taper in this section, but it's a monster. Like, it doesn't post deeply. Yeah, I don't think it posts. Like, I could squeeze it on there, but I don't even think you would like that, Evan. So let's see which weighs more, the cap or the pen. So the cap weighs more than the pen. <laughs> yeah, 18K, that was just hard to read. Yeah, I wouldn't post it, especially with this silver ring on it. So yeah, I'm like the color and everything is is perfect for me, like for my style, for what I like. I'm just like it's expensive, right? So I just got to decide if I want to pay for it or not. That's all. Because I think it's great otherwise. It's too transparent for me. See, that's exactly why I like it. That's why I got the red, the Kona Cherry. Right? And that's why I didn't get the, the purple one or the white one. Your wife did suggest you to get a nice pen. <laughs> yeah, I like I love the band. Yeah, you can get it without the band and it's the standard price. I love the ring, but I'm sorter against trim flare and things if it sacrifices utility. What utility is it sacrificing? It's not sacrificing posting. It's just not going to post anyway. So I don't know what other utility you're sacrificing. I'm not. I'm not snarking. I'm just trying to understand. Oh, they, you said it. I should read the rest of your thing. Then again, I need to be able to post my pins, or I'll always lose the cap. Yeah, it's just not going to post. <laughs> I'm going to kill a like Nate Champion. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, yeah. This you can't post this pen. Or I wouldn't. I mean, technically you can post it, but it's not it's not even that the the metal will destroy the material, it's that it's makes it for such a long pen it's not usable. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Agree. Concur with that. So yeah. I inked it up with um Robert Oster, one of the bright blue Robert Osters. Did I write this down? Blue, blue water, I, blue lagoon. Robert Oster, blue lagoon. So, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, that's why I'm in the debate stage. stage. Um, the Kona Cherry was the last one that was just insta buy for me because. Red's not something I have a lot of. And it had the heavy translucency. Um, this blue translucency is really, really sharp. And I like the ring. 
it's just yeah it was definitely going with some kind of oceany blue ink that one this one may even be a little light i might go a little bit darker more more compecky sky high range next time if i keep it but yeah like this is just asking for every robert oster blue ink every bright Orochizuku sailor ink like all of those ink colors that i love which is one of the like i wouldn't put blue black in this right this one deserves the ocean the bright ocean color inks to me like this isn't a blue black uh ink for me yeah amaero one of those bright blues not the dark blues even though it's got the black sand in it yeah the florida blue those types of things but i wouldn't put my black blue blue blacks in it even though theoretically it's a perfect match the blue is really really bright so there you go very happy with it i just i just got to decide if i want to spend the money i haven't spent this much on a pen in a long time i've kind of been chilling on that and i've had some big uh life expenses on monday that hadn't, haven't gone my way <laughs> so i it's a debate right now just with myself so there you go wednesday stream i mean if i want to do anything with stream it's gonna have to be three times a week anyway at a minimum so i'm i'm down with wednesday streams wednesday streams will just never be long yeah everything's okay just 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 don't be an adult don't be a responsible adult that's my biggest tip to you y'all should not grow up don't be a responsible adult it's just like car house taxes like all on the same day it just made for a long crappy day like thousands of dollars in my car it's just like like i didn't have a car for a couple days it's just that shit gets annoying it's then being a responsible adult it sucks don't grow up kids adulting is o way overrated y'all can you show the new 3776 sure adulting is mega overrated y'all dude i told my kids last night I was like, don't grow up. Tyler's like, I want I want to grow up. I'm like, man, you're 12 right now. All you do is play baseball and Rubik's Cube. You do not want to grow up, buddy. I promise you. All right, let me find that link. The Platinum I find interesting. Yeah, it's difficult adjusting to living somewhere that you need a car. Like... I'm just glad like my my parents moved here because like they saved my butt yesterday, right? I'm super fortunate. Has anyone made a Frankenstein cartridge or converter for the Esther Brooks? I don't know. That's a good question. Adulting is awful, right? All right, let me uh, bring this up. So yeah, it was you know. Like, nothing I should complain about, right? It's part of being an adult. Just freaking annoying. Just because it just the, the culmination of several things on Monday. I literally got no work done on Monday. I was just mentally spent. And like that's I'm lucky to be able to not have to function Monday and then catch up on everything the next couple days. Whatever. I shouldn't complain. Part of being adult is being allowed to complain about having to be an adult. Fair. All right, let's look at this um, platinum. I think it's interesting. Oh, let me see if I can embiggen this. Oh, long screen. Oh, and I'll give you all the link if you want to pull it up on your own. So it's just like a smoke gray. Yeah, I'm putting the link in. It's just like a smoke gray. I, it looks kind of, if you close, if you get close, there's like a little sparkle in it. It's like a deeper, like we were talking about the moonstone in relation to it. It's like a deeper moonstone. I think the base gray is darker. Um, the cat band says Hong Kong on it, which I think is cool. Um, I don't know what this what flower this is on there. I don't 
I don't know. The Instagram web interface doesn't allow you to translate. I'd have to copy it and paste it. I'm not going to do that. I like the fly. It's these little things I, I like. You know what's really interesting about this is platinum. For all the platinum pins and all the Nakaya pins I have, I have one rhodium trim platinum converter. I would love to just be able to buy some. If I ever see like some of these converters, I just so is it the flower on the Hong Kong flag? I don't know. That's a good that's a good point. It might be. It might be the pin body I get a UEF with. Yeah, so they have the full range of nibs on this one, which is another interesting. I was like, how many are they gonna make? Well, I guess they can just sell the nibs separately. Those are pretty easily swappable. Um It's really nice. Like I love this pen. Like I don't need this pen. I'm not gonna buy this pen, right? But I I really really enjoy it. So just like a lot of little things, but yeah, does the store have a website? So on their Instagram page, it only links to a Facebook page. So good luck. My friend who uh, who sent me this bought lives in Hong Kong, and and they bought it. This would be a perfect UEF pen because I use dark inks with it like grays and blacks will look cool with this I think will they charge 500 for like it was Staler store exclusives I have no idea I don't think that when I did the translate there was no price so out of all this I take uh, the, <laughs> the silver converter because those are really hard I use my one I use my one rhodium plated converter in as many pins as I can, I'll just move it around because I, I don't like their gold ones because all my all my platinums are silver trim. I'll use it in my Nakayas, but even my Nakaya nibs are rhodium plated, so I like this I like this nib to go for it better. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, good one. I I don't know how much they're charging for it. Let me ask. I'll ask Glenn. Because he bought one. Let me ask. I'll shoot him in. Oh, here we go. I uh, he he sent me the price, so let me convert it. I don't even have to ask him for the price. He sent it to me. 280 280 bucks it's 2180 hong kong dollars 280 like that's fair for what they're charging for everything else yeah 30k yen ish it's all it's almost priced incorrectly <laughs> for what they're doing completely fair right looks like y'all agree which is funny like we weren't it wasn't that many years ago where that would have been ooh platinum oof. but that's that's current platinum like that's a deal for platinum these days shop link um I, there is no sh they have a facebook link i like good luck getting this pen uh, i'll put the uh scroll up i put it in there um uh, Someone has it pulled up. Oh, here it is. I can repaste it. Yeah, they're um, their only shop link on their Instagram page is to a Facebook page. So, like I said, good luck. And they're not coming out till August. So I don't know if they're even doing pre-orders or what. Yeah, it's an August release. That's the other kicker. Yeah, I'm sh hopefully they'll field your Instagram DMs. I was about to say something else. We're 
definitely going to do giveaways on these streams. So Wednesday, if I do post post podcast streams, they're not going to be more than an hour, and we're definitely going to do giveaways. Kate, I finally sent your giveaway notebook um, yesterday. Thank you for seven months of subbing. Appreciate you. Woo, just got back from my second Pfizer dose and happy to have a stream today. Good. Good, good, good. Look at Penguin's Creative, journalize.hk. Good job on the second dosage. I feel mentally different knowing that I'm past my uh, second week after my second dose. I'm like, yeah. I'm walking around like <sighs> breathing. <laughs> but I still wear my mask <laughs> all the time. I was in the bank yelling at the bank this morning. Masked up. We just wear masks. We still wear masks. Glad I'm back to coffee. I am too. I needed it today. So you click on the Instagram to click to the Facebook to get to the shop link. Got it. My browser is blocking that link. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Mine is blocking it too. They have a bad, bad security certificate. So yeah, I got the security certificate alert. Maybe that's why they're not not linked. So there you go, if you're interested in it. Second Moderna yesterday, nice. Laying in bed with some aches, not too terrible, good. Yeah, I had a rough like half day stretch, 12 hour stretch, pretty rough. Once you get through that though, kind of sails through, at least with the uh, uh, Moderna. So I got the same. But yeah, it's like I, uh, number one, AstraZeneca. Yeah, Tony got wiped. Tony got really wiped out. And other people have gotten completely wiped out for multiple days. Oh, gotcha, unsigned certificate, not a bad one per se, gotcha. Yeah, I had like a like a I had like twelve hours on the couch pretty much, like asleep on the couch. I didn't get back in the bed, but like out cold. Alright, so what else do we need? What else do we need today? We need me to clean my desk is what we need. We need this cantalea to stop taunting me. Big fan of the box. Oh. I like this shelf I can just move stuff out of the way on. Although eventually I'll have that better organized. When does the new Vanishing Point come out? Which new one? Do we have a new a new LE? The annual LE? It's usually like summertime, isn't it? Like if they has they have they shared uh pictures? Did I miss them? Who's which rotation are we, are we on US are we on a US year? Or are we on a France year? Oh yeah, Andrew asked the same thing. Last year was France, wasn't it? Wasn't last year's one of the black and white line ones? Yes, yeah, so US year. So hopefully we get a colorful one. I like the France ones. I just like the U.S. ones better. Cause I, I, I like the bright ones. I have enough dark vanishing points. I would get. I'm an, I'm good on dark vanishing points. I like bright ones. I didn't get any of the uh, gradient ones. You know the purple and blue or the crimson. What are your thoughts on the chewing gum pencils and notebook? I thought it was a cool idea. They probably don't work very well though. <laughs> Anything that's recycled, I have a tough time with. Just like um, using all my pens on. The idea is, is solid though. I love it. So like those are things that do well with like students and things like that. Get some cool stationery. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's go through Brad's task list for today, for this week. Fodder stack XL prep. Haven't done that yet. Sponsor thank you post. Haven't done that yet. This is all Monday, by the way. 
That I did. Credit card payment, I did that one. Uh, giveaway, I did that one. Did that. Podcast prep's done. Deposit bank, did that. Toby's meds, have not done Toby's meds yet. First BP was the matte black in 97. Noise. Podcast, we did that. We got some shipping to do. All right. We got some shipping uh, to work on today. Money, money finally get to a Jodo, theoretically, after a, a bank visit this morning. So I was running around like crazy person this morning. So my wife is at work, so she was gone at like 7.15 this morning. So I took the kids to school. And when you can when you take the uh when you take the kids in the school when you're to school in the morning when you're an adult and don't have to go into the office, you can take them in your pajamas, right? So I was in my pajamas, just t shirt and pajama pants, right? So I take the kids to school. My wife calls me on the way to school. Hey, the roof guys are gonna be there between eight fifteen and eight thirty. Well, the roof guys aren't supposed to come till tomorrow. So if I knew they were going to be there, I would have like gotten dressed when I took the kids to school, but I didn't. So I come home. I was like, cool. I should. I get home at like 8.05, 8.10 after drop off. Hey, Molly. Um, so I was like, I'll run in put on some shorts and shoes and change my shirt, whatever. I'll have time. So I get home. Of course, he's in the driveway. So I just get out the car. I'm like, hey, man, let me show you where the leak is. Like, I just owned it. Like, I'm in my pajamas. It just back from the cool school, carrying around a coffee cup in my pajamas, showing the roof guy where the leak is. I was like, cool, man. So that's how my day started, but I knew... I had to get to the bank today because I couldn't go Monday because I didn't have a car. I couldn't go Tuesday because I didn't have a car because I had to physically go to get this transfer done for OSU, 13 months of sub and Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. What do you do with all those Aurora boxes? Let me know. So I knew the bank didn't open till 9 and I had to start the podcast at 10. So I'm in the bank parking lot at 8.52. So this is after I've come home, got the roof guy in my pajamas. Doubt that's the worst they've seen? Absolutely. That's why I just owned it. And it's just like, deal with it. Like, deal with it, face. Um, roof guy left, jumped in the shower, ran up to the bank, was in the bank parking lot at 8.52, sat in there, sat there, uh, oh, that was definitely included with purchase. <laughs> um, sat there waiting for them to open because I knew I would have to sit with like, uh, you know, not just going up to the counter and, and getting a wire transfer done. I went up there and she's like, oh yeah, I've got notes on why that transaction failed. Like I didn't have any notice like in my account or anything except that the money came back. The money was debited, never showed up and then showed up back in my account. So we um, got the information she needed. It was the wrong, we didn't, we filled out, she filled out everything she was supposed to fill out and then they asked for more. So we had more, put that in as of this morning. Hopefully that gets taken care of. Rushed home, got back at like 945 and then like rushed into the podcast. So good morning. That's where we're at. So that's that's my day. Is that, is that how these Twitch streams are supposed to go? A day in the life. So it was. Uh, that's why I was I was on the hype train this morning when we got into uh, time to start recording the podcast. I was fired up just because I've been running. So this is actually my wind down time. We'll do this for a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ship. I, I'm behind since I, I lost Monday. So I'm way behind on shipping. So we're going to go knock out some of that. Yesterday I shipped like um, issues, like problems and issues, anything that I like was overdue. And then today we're going to ship regular products. So And then maybe, maybe I can get the fodder sack launched this week. 
that's the game plan. Um, tomorrow, if we're lucky. So, yeah. Cool. All right, what else do we need to talk about? I still have y'all's list of good uh, topics. So, like, uh, Dr. Coleman wanted us to do some innovation stuff. I have to look on that. I have to think about that. Pin storage options. Those are still on the list to, to handle. All right. Cool. Um, let's do a giveaway. Since I'm caught up, what spoke pin are you carrying today? So I got a new one. Did you see this one on uh, yesterday's stream, Jesse? Um, this is a special Brad edition from Brian. I used it at the bank this morning. They didn't comment on it. They need to step their game up. You know what they use at the bank? True red. So I got the special uh, Joy Division laser etched cap that Brian made for me. Sick. Influencer hands. So this is now my pen, my official pen. Come on, y'all. There we go. Yeah, he did a really good job. Sorry, I'm not. I'll, I'm going to take a better picture of this for Instagram, but I'm sorry, it's not. The camera's not handling it very well. So yeah, there you go. Brian needs to start hooking us up. That's what I told him. He's going to get himself in trouble doing stuff like this because he knows I'm going to show it. So that just makes more work. What's the one downside to getting in the disc binding style planner? My downside is maybe not what you think. My downside is permanence that you feel bound, no pun intended, to it being the one. And that's cool. But like, I'm someone that moves around, but you know what? I've used this thing for like two years now and I don't regret any of it. So, there you go. You need one with spider webs? Ooh, that would be sick. Are you gonna review your skull pen? Your skullet? I hope so. So I don't know, I mean, the downside, the downside is deciding what to do once you remove the used pages. That's really the only thing I've seen is like, what do I do with this? Do I trash it? Do I keep it? Um, that's like, like the usability downside, that's the only thing really is. What do I do with the stuff that I fill out? Should I keep it or trash it? it honestly, I should burn it. Like not even a joke, like it should go in the fireplace. <laughs> I know I'm, oh, hang on. I know I'm late, but can you give that new Canalea a quick camera troll? Yeah, I'll do that in just a second. My brother saw my Axel S in common and he wanted one with a ballpoint or rollerball, anything like that in the works. He doesn't like the look of the roadie, but he likes the form factor and size of the Axel, but he doesn't do fountain pen nibs. I'm not going to say no, but it's it's not at the top of the list, put it that way. Is that fair? Like it's not on the prototype board right now, but not that it won't be ever. Uh, turning pages may not be as smooth as you want. Yeah, you do have to worry about how much you pack into here. Like that's my limit. Like people will do it fatter, but then you really get into a challenge turning the pages and you see how like the bottom most pages they'll start to move under under the ring right so you kind of got to pull them out if you want like a smooth turn like kate saying and you you will eventually want to buy the hole punch and the hole punches are very expensive like the hole punches cost almost as much as the planner there's got to be better prices for those right or not i mean the one that i'm borrowing stolen is like a 120 dollar punch 
and like this whole notebook was like $140, which is crazy expensive. No pre-made aesthetics is what gets me about disbound. I don't have the time or money to make it as pretty as one. That's a fair, that's fair. I like that. Oh, you're writing three stories. Okay, the skull, the skull pen, nice. That's either easier to decide than whether to keep an entire full notebook. That's a good point, Mafia Geek. I buy another set of rings and have a used pages notebook. Yeah, I think OSU, you do that as well. The extra rings, and I think I've got the extra rings, but I haven't done them. I got to think about that. Please bring out a purple uh, Axel S. Yeah, I think that's, I don't know if that's coming next time. That's on the top of my list. <laughs> I bought the punch for the happy planner one. Is it the same uh, same specs? Like you can use it for disc bound. The archive set they sell. Okay. All right. So there's the. Uh... There's the Canalea. Get the cap band in there. So the cat band is super big. Yeah, if you have a link to that, Jackie, that would be great. So you can see the cat band is super thick. So the cat band and clip, so this whole, this piece weighs more than the pen itself. So if you're interested in just uh, getting a general idea of the feel. It's not, what's the, what's the type of silver that they called it? I forget the name because I'm not good at like raw materials names. I want to call it anthracite silver, but it's not, <laughs> it's not it. So it's really pretty. And you can see the material. Argentium, yes. Thank you, Argentium. Just don't expect me to explain that because I can't. So in there, it's like, it's a heavy, heavy translucent blue. Like it's... It's probably like a two-thirds translucency. Where like my Hanama Bay is like 20% translucency. But my Kona Cherry is like this one, which is why I like it. So yeah, that's that. A little more material. See, like I have big translucency in the barrel. If I keep this, I will eyedropper this. It'll look really cool. I don't eyedropper them when I'm testing them out. So yeah. Big, it, this might even be more of a three quarters translucency, which I'm, I'm down with. Like I like, I'm a translucent pen guy. So yeah, I'll get the, if I keep this, I'll get the ink swat, uh, sloshing around in here. That's the play. But I can't decide if I'm gonna keep it yet because it's expensive. Like there's no, I'm there's no ifs ands or buts about it. It's it's an expensive pen, so I don't know if I want to spend the money. Seeing that I've got a bunch of life expenses happening. Band is argentium, medallions are sterling. Makes sense. So yeah, there you go. Penguins creative. My friend had a horrible experience with a happy planner punch. but it's the same size. Okay, cool. All right, let's do a, a couple of giveaways and I need to get to work. Um, let's go into the ice box of doom. We're going to start calling this the ice box of doom. So yesterday I said I was going to give away some smaller notebooks and then reach for a pen. <laughs> that didn't work out in my favor. Um, so I'm going to go for the smaller notebook gang today. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's hit this right off the jump. We'll do this right off the jump. I found this when I was digging through my stuff. Why is my phone blowing up? Sorry. Whatever. All right. 
Giveaway. We need a giveaway emote. Yeah, I'll do that. Icebox of happiness. That's better. I, Clarude, that's what it is. It's the icebox of happiness. Thank you. Let's do that. No doom in there. This is all happiness. I found this when I was unloading. I didn't know it was in there. So it's the coloring San Francisco pin show edition. So this one's uh this one's from Anna, of course, well appointed desk. But this is the special 2019 SF Pin Show limited edition cover for these. It's really neat. It's really cool. So let's give that one away. Ah, oh, man, I didn't bring my washi tape in here. So this is, whoops. All right, this is for the color ring. Giveaway, go. Well, I keep forgetting to bring it. I think I have an extra one in here. Let me look. Oh yeah, I got one. So I have this, um, I have a blue gingham. We'll use this one. <laughs> see what you did there Getting my torn up index card name tags ready for the grand winner. Oh, is um, uh, Cass Rock? I think I need your address from something. I think I had something I needed to send you, but maybe I miss. I I'll look. Maybe send me an email with your address, Cass Rock, just in case. I feel like I need that. I think feel like I saw it yesterday. Maybe. Email me again because I saw something with your name on it and then I didn't see the email, but I didn't double check the like my archive or deleted like if I accidentally like swiped it or something. Go ahead and send it to me again because I saw something yesterday that I didn't ship but that had your name on it. So do that do that for me and I'll let you know. Thank you. All right, a couple seconds left. <laughs> All right, injuries have stopped. Winner is Penguins Creative. Look at that. We might see this on stream. Ruffle, <laughs> you were just taunting the chat bot, the giveaway bot, and then you won. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> Email me your shipping address. Hello at panatic.com. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you were totally, you were totally trolling the giveaway bot. Oh, that's great. All right, email me your shipping address. All right, we'll do one more, and then we're gonna go. What do y'all think about this stream just jumping on for like an hour after the podcast or so? Um, can we do something special? We like some of the show and tell stuff after the show is good. Um, that was fun. So think about like what other the other stuff we can do. Claire can join us and say it's the famous Brad Dowdy because it's actually not. It's actually uh, she's actually awake. All right, we're gonna do this one. 
this isn't gonna be different. Your username has not worked yet. <laughs> Talking pin addict. Yeah, I like the like the immediate follow up. Um, you know, we're not gonna we're almost never gonna go really long on this one. Maybe some maybe some days I can I won't have as much shipping to do, but Wednesday is usually a pretty heavy shipping day for me. Um, all right, this is gonna be this is gonna be the the tiny fun pack. Are these sticky notes or just a notepad? All right, so we have Studio Ghibli. I don't know if these are sticky notes or just like a notepad. Doesn't say. Super cute. Plus the teeny baby Mormon Nemo sign. Nemo scene. Do they even give this a size? It's so small. Card size. So this is business card size. This would fit in the Tallulah. And this is one of the coolest things. I've opened this because I kept threatening to use it. I wonder if it's still got my stuff in it. It does. <laughs> I'll show you this. I won't send it with my stuff in it. But I'm going to give this away because I never use it. This is a Leutsch term. But it's not a notebook. It's a card holder. It's awesome. I, this is one of my favorite little things. I'm going to take my cards out of it. I used it to take a picture once. So this is the cute, cute, fun giveaways. I'll take my business cards out of there. You don't need those. So yeah, we'll do all these as a little little uh, mini fun kit. Yeah, stationary for ants. So we have all this stuff. So that one winner will get all these. So this is the, the mini fun set. This would be hilarious if Evan wins this one. I will, let's see, reset. So this is what happens when I actually unload the bin and can see what's inside of it. I can put things together like this. <laughs> all right, so there we go. Uh, all right, go. Yeah, so just thinking about this stream, like we can follow up the show. You don't even have to be a live listener to like see the show and tell, like, you know, when I'm doing the, you know, have a new pin to discuss or, you know, a link to the Instagram post of the 3776, things like that. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's fun. I think I'd like to keep it up. Um, you know, still thinking about how to do something outside the Tuesday, Thursday stream in addition to. Giveaway bot is bad. <laughs> See, April's trying to trick it again. So yeah, I think we'll we'll try to do this as long as I can, even if it's only for like an hour max. And then we'll see if we can do some uh, journaling one night. I'm not ready to add this one to the schedule yet, but we'll keep trying it for a few few weeks and maybe it just gets added because I'm here already. And I know once I leave here, I will never come back to stream. Like today. Like if I left today to go do shipping and then came back to stream afterwards, it wouldn't happen. This, I'm already sitting here. Just got to clean up my desk from the the podcast stuff and then go. So might as well, right? Because I keep saying I need to try to grow the stream hours. Hoping for a journal night, I think we can totally. I really want to do that. It's just nights are hard with the family because of the schedule. How's the hand feeling these days? You know, it's a real frustration point for me, to be honest, Praxis. I'm having a lot of pain in my wrist. So we don't know what to do. I wonder if it's just like arthritis. I'm going to have to like fight the rest of my life. Like I have a, I have a, it's hurting. 
been debating streaming but not pen stuff. It's fun. All right. Uh, yeah, it's annoying. Like, I can do whatever I need to do. Like, I played pickleball Sunday. I played in a tournament. Didn't hurt. Like, I can play all day. Monday and Tuesday, my wrist killed me. Just all day. It's a, it's an I'm frustrated a little bit to be perfectly honest. Coco Lena, let's go. Coco Lena was a first time podcast listener today, but a long time stream viewer. Coco Lena, yes, definitely Claire. Be happy to help. Coco Lena, email me your shipping address, even though I know I have it. All right. Sounds like I overdid it. Maybe. I just wish it would tell me when I was doing it if I was overdoing it. <laughs> but yeah. Like the recovery after I do something active, um, the following day is, is bad. The doing of is not bad. The following day is, is like legit need to take Advil pain bad. And it's not where the break is, right? Like the break was right here. My pain is, is out here on the, on the exterior wall. Like my break was right here. How long are you post injury? Um, almost seven months. Yeah, like next week, seven months was the it was the break. So I've, seven months since the break. Do you ice it up afterwards? I didn't, but now I'm. I was thinking that yesterday, or Monday. Are you still doing therapy? Just my bands and my uh, putty. Like I'm not going to therapy anymore. But like I'll stretch it before I do something. I haven't been consistent like day to day, multiple times a day doing it. That's certainly a problem. Uh, I'm just surprised it hurts this. I like I like it. It hurts enough to wake me up at night. But it's not stopping me from doing anything. If that makes sense. Although my strength, I definitely don't have my strength or range of movement. So. Need to do some more work. Felt it takes at least a year to get back to normal after any of your surgeries. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm trying not to sweat it, thinking that time it will help. But I'm a little bit annoyed. <laughs> Brad not being stubborn at all. You don't know me very well. <laughs> like, stubborn is my middle name. Whoops. Blackwing just announced a new pencil, the Palomino. Do you have a link? We'll hit this up. If you have a link, we'll hit this. I want to take a quick look. Where's our Field Notes 50th? If you have a link, we'll look at this real quick, and then we'll then we'll hop off. We can always look at this tomorrow. But if you have uh, anything shareable, pretty disappointed in Blackwing for this one. You just got an email. All right, let me look at it. Uh, let me look at the Palomino stuff and we'll uh, discuss tomorrow. That'll give us a topic to discuss tomorrow. So how's that sound? All right. We're going to wrap it up, grab a bite to eat, head to the shipping department. And uh, y'all be good. Thanks for thanks for coming today. Thanks for hanging out. Um, cool to just, uh, we just got an email from FN that I'm definitely logging off because this stream will never end. All right. We'll cover these emails tomorrow. Thanks for hanging. Cheers. Y'all have a good one. All right. Thanks.